Well, here's my uh, combat wing. Uh, I've had uh, quite a few test flights that uh, didn't go completely as planned, uh, but we got her now. I just uh, just got a flight in, and it was flying real nice and smooth, um, easy to hand launch. Um, put some. Uh, vinyl on the wing just so I could see it a little bit better. The first uh, few flights I didn't have anything on it and, and you couldn't see it. It was <laughs> it was terrible. In fact I ditched it into a snowbank because I lost orientation on it. But, uh, what I ended up doing, I made a few changes along the way here. Um, I took those little servos out. I uh, ended up stripping them. They just weren't strong enough. And I put uh, 9 gram uh, Tower Pro servos, just hot glued them in. Uh, I took these uh, things on the wings here, and this was the original size, and I made them a little bit bigger. It seemed to be skidding a little bit sideways. I might cut those down a little bit more, but that's just what I glued on for now. I ended up cutting. Uh, the ailerons down just a little bit. This is uh, this is uh, the way they were, and I cut that much off, and I cut a an angle off on the corner to keep them from rubbing on here because the way they were before they were rubbing on there. So, and other than that. Uh, I had the battery velcroed onto here. I had to put a little bit of lead extra on the nose. What are those? Those are quarter ounces, so three quarters of an ounce of lead right up here in front to get it balanced. And I also cut the motor in a little farther than the, the, the last video you've seen. I moved it in a good width of my thumb. And, uh, but yeah, it flew pretty good. It's actually wet because it's. Uh, landed in the snow. There's no, there's nowhere else to land it, so I had to land it in the snow. And it, and it by its design, it just becomes a shovel basically. But it, uh, yeah, it flew pretty good. Um, I'll probably test fly it a couple more times to make sure I'm really happy with the CG. And then I might cut this out so the battery will fit right inside of the nose. It's been pretty durable. This thing has actually taken a couple bad crashes. And there was a little bit of crinkling on the nose here, but nothing, nothing major. Considering any other airplane would have been completely gone. I ended up putting a spar in, just a small carbon fiber spar across here. Um, I wouldn't have had to, but I, when I cut in, to put the motor in a little bit farther, I cut it a lot of the cross tape here. See, it crosses right there. So I ended up cutting into that and. And I just it was easier just to put this carbon fiber in. If I was building the wing over again, I'd just move the tape somewhere else and then I wouldn't have to put that in. But it stiffened it up. I probably could have got away without it, but yeah, so anyways, that's it. Uh, I gotta do a few more refinements on it. Uh, maybe this weekend I can get uh, one of my buddies to videotape it flying. Uh, it's got lots of power. Uh, I was basically flying it around it uh, in town here, like in a uh, parking lot. Uh, I was only flying it about half throttle, and it was it was moving pretty good. So that's it.